Hi everyone. Welcome back to our uh, EV channel. So today we are going to discuss about uh, the advantages as well as the disadvantages of an series hybrid electric vehicle. So already we have been discussed uh, about this complete structure of an uh, hybrid electric vehicle. So what are the advantages as well as the disadvantages? You can see here the first advantage is uh, there is no mechanical coupling between the engine. So engine is available at this location and wheel is available at the location. Uh, so automatically you can see here the complete engine power is sent to the battery and whenever the vehicle is driven automatically battery discharges goes to the DC to DC converter and it resultantly goes to the motor and the wheel rotates. You can say that there is no mechanical coupling between the wheel as well as the engine which is the utmost important feature. So if you have this feature you can run this engine with the improved efficiency and you can run this engine with its speed, power and torque characteristics which is already discussed. So you have an speed and you have an torque on the y axis as well as power as per the required speed and power and torque characteristics. These characteristics are similar to that of an traction characteristics. You can run this engine with highest efficiency which is also possible. This is the first and utmost importance of having an no mechanical coupling between engine as well as the wheel. Next important advantage is electric motor can this electric motor can also can already this have an efficiency of 80 to 90 percentage it can have better speed power as well as torque characteristics therefore these characteristics are similar to that of an traction motor characteristics automatically efficiency of this motor can also be increased and efficiency of the engine can also be increased next one by having a decoupling between engine and the wheel and these two engines can be driven at uh, two different speeds uh, where in-wheel driving is also capable or available where you can decouple first wheel as well as second wheel uh, so when your vehicle is making a uh, u-turn so wheel 2 is here wheel 1 is here wheel 2 need to reduce with uh, reduce its speed wheel 1 has to rotate with uh, higher speed uh, where it can perform well automatically the decoupling of the two motors is also very simple uh, in the case of an uh, hybrid electric vehicle so if you want more performance uh, you can have an in-wheel driving of four number so w1 w2 and here you have w3 and here you have w4 so you can have four different motors uh, where this comes under uh, off-road vehicles so the performance exhibited by this uh, series hybrid electric vehicle will be similar to that of an uh, off-road vehicles uh, where these off-road vehicles also offer four-wheel driving. So all the four wheels you can drive and here we are using uh, four in-wheel driving uh, so automatically can have better speed, power and torque characteristics. So where this is the utmost important uh, in any other. So it has similar performance to that of an off-road vehicles. Uh, so and our electric vehicle if we have an uh, four-wheel driving you can use in a uh, guard road and you can this use this in uh, icy type of uh, surfaces in Himalayas like this and you can use this kind of uh, four wheel driving uh, in when you have slow type of uh, surface and you can use it in an uh, uh, off roads. So for all this application four wheel can perform well that's why a series hybrid electric vehicle uh, can perform better similar to that of an the top most IC engine which are off-road electric vehicles. So coming to the next negatives is so here you have multiple losses this is one of the main negative. So engine has some loss and this generator has some loss and this motor also has some loss and resultantly the torque is available at the wheel. So we have an energy conversion losses from engine to generator, generator to rectifier, rectifier to battery and the same energy has to be converted from DC supply to AC supply. There is a lot of uh, energy loss in this system and the efficiency of this generator as well as the motor will fall down. Why? Because uh, 
this generator has to be operated with highest efficiency and it has to send the power to the battery and the remaining. So, if there is a loss of efficiency, why? Because the two times energy conversion is happening. And next one is, uh, if we use this sort of a series hybrid electric vehicle, we need to increase uh, the bigger size generator. Why? Because engine is of a bigger size. We need to have a generator of a highest, I mean, uh, higher weight and automatically the current rating also will increase as well as the cost of the vehicle also will increase as uh, ultimately which increases uh, the weight of the vehicle. So, the engine adds an additional weight and cost. And next one, so ultimately this if we increase the engine weight or this engine weight also we need to increase uh, the size of the traction motor also. So, why because the traction motor only has to perform well. So, the required speed power torque characteristics uh, has to be supplied by the traction motor. So, the traction motor is only the power plant uh, propelling the vehicle. So, this is only the motor which propels the electric vehicle uh, and it should be sized. I mean the size of this traction motor should be of a higher size uh, to produce the required power to the wheels. So, which is uh, very important. Uh, this is all about uh, the advantages. So, this series hybrid electric vehicle has a lot of advantages why because there is no mechanical coupling the efficiency of this generator can I mean engine can be improved the efficiency of traction motor can also be improved and where we can have two wheel driving where you can have four wheel driving so better performance of the traction can be experienced so and this vehicle can be useful for off road driving and negatives will be there why because we are converting the energy into two times so the energy the engine has to propel the generator generator has to convert the supply into DC supply where there is a kind of energy loss and once again to reach the required vehicle again battery has to discharge and like this energy is lost in the form of a loss so this is one more negative and if you want to use this hybrid electric vehicle definitely we need to use around 30 to 40 percent of the rating of the engine which has a increased weight and cost and the traction motor should be also of higher rated to make the electric vehicle to move in a uh, gradient area. So, this is all about the advantages and disadvantages uh, of an hybrid electric vehicle. So, hope you are able to understand uh, the advantages and disadvantages of electric vehicle. Uh, if you feel the video and the content is useful, please like, share and subscribe for more updates. So, thank you for watching.